The second scenario begins after the pipeline has reached steady state. The pipeline is flowing from the inlet terminal to the midline terminal and using pump station 2. In this scenario, a leak occurs causing the pipeline to lose pressure. The goal is to respond to the events appropriately and follow the standard procedure to shut down the pipeline in the event of a leak. Shortly after the leak occurs, we will notice that an alarm is generated at block valve 1. We will navigate to the screen to investigate. Here we can see that the alarms are due to low pressure at the station. We will now navigate to the alarm screen to acknowledge the alarms and continue our investigation. We could begin with opening the pressure trend for block valve 1. Here we can see that an event has occurred causing the pressure to drop at the station. As the pressure continues to fall at block valve 1, we will notice that alarms are generated at block valve 2. Navigating to block valve 2 shows that the alarms are due to low pressure at the station. We can first acknowledge the alarms in the alarm screen. Next, we will open the pressure trend to monitor the pipeline from the inlet terminal to the midline terminal. We will notice that the overall pipeline pressure is decreasing. Another alarm is now generated at pump station 2. Navigating to the screen, we will notice that the alarms are due to low pressure and the pumps have turned off. All these events should be of great concern, as no additional operations have occurred on the pipeline that would cause the overall line pressure to decrease so rapidly. Since the reason for the pressure drop is currently unknown and it has greatly impacted the pipeline operations, we will initiate the emergency shutdown procedure for the pipeline. This will shut down the pipeline and isolate each section. Returning to the pressure trend and analyzing the data will show that the pressure between block valve 1 and block valve 2 is still decreasing. However, the pressures in the other sections appear to be stabilizing. At this point, we might want to issue an alert to the appropriate personnel that an event has occurred which has caused the section pressure to continue to decrease even after the line was isolated. After we have confirmed there is no issue with the other sections and we have determined the section of the event, we can acknowledge the alarms. We should continue to monitor the pipeline until a response is given by the appropriate personnel.